Hello, welcome to Construction Document Creation in, in AutoCAD. We are going to create a few um, construction documents, just very conceptual construction documents, to get you acclimated to the process of using AutoCAD to produce them um, and to actually translate somebody's um, sketch work, in this case very clean sketch work because it's, it's been produced from AutoCAD, um, into your own CAD drawing that you can then 3D model. Um, what I'm going to do first is start a project folder. Um, I have a template created for this as well. <clears throat> um, under my library, um, it's a project folder, so I'm just going to copy that over into my desktop for now, and I'll close that out, and I'll just rename this. So basically, this is a number two, and I would just call it um, construction document. Creation and AutoCAD. <clears throat> All right. Now I double click on this folder. I already have pre established subfolders. So for finished pieces, site data, AutoCAD, Illustrator, Layout, Photoshop, SketchUp. So all that stuff's made for me. So that's really nice. Um, so that's waiting for me now. Um, what I'm going to begin to do is go to the Blackboard assignment and start downloading the items that you need. So it's all of this stuff. So we're going to download the um, layout PDF. Um, and I'll just download that. I'll save that and go to my desktop and go to construction documents. And I will call this um, site data. And this will be layout plan. And I'll go back here. I'll go to the plan diagram. Save it in the same space. Planting plan. Save it in the same space. Um, the all black but 253 gray CTB will allow to just to go down to our downloads. The template will go down to our downloads. Um, the context area and as well the 2D blocks, um, the trees. Um, so now what I want to do is um, go to AutoCAD. And we're going to load the our custom template that I'm just giving you so everybody's on the same page. All right, I'm gonna close that out. I'm gonna go File, New Drawing, and I'm gonna to navigate to my template on my downloads. I'm gonna click on my downloads and um, the DWT. So I'm gonna open, and you see you have some um, pins uh, settings and um, not pin well, not pin settings so much, but line weights, uh, hatch is already waiting for you to use. So I'm just gonna kind of move that out of the way. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go back, or actually from AutoCAD, just open, and go back to my downloads and open the context area. Now in this case, um, all the layers are nicely uh, organized because I've created it using my template. Oftentimes it won't be the case, so um, you can X reference information, but if you're going to 3D model context area, you need that live information as well, so I'll just bring it all, all over. and match my properties but for this, this instance it's also very important that your origin is set correctly and you see that the origin on this drawing um, is right here at the corner of my design extent so I'm gonna remember that it's gonna be my zero marker so I'm gonna copy all this select it control C or command C if you're on a Mac um, I'm gonna get rid of that I'm going back to my untitled piece here and I'm just gonna control V for paste now I'm going to grab it, everything, and I'm going to in, M for move, and again, and my displacement point is I'm going to zoom in, make sure my O snap is on, snap to that corner, and I'm going to say it needs to be 0, comma 0, comma 0, enter, and it should move to that origin point. Now I know that it will align with my 3D model after we um, finish uh, drafting in the actual design. 
So I'm gonna move this out of the way. We don't need it right now. We need to get the lines and stuff drafted in. So I'm gonna do a few things first. I'm gonna go to my context layers and I'm gonna make sure that they're all just locked. And I also wanna make sure that my um, design extents is locked. I don't need to mess with that. Okay. And I'm gonna put myself on my proposed edge. That's the layer that I wanna be on right now. Um, well, before I do that, let me put myself on zero. Where's my zero? There I go. Um, Cause I'm gonna bring in an image. So right now I'm gonna go, uh, I am, type in I am enter. And you might have a prompt here. I'm on a Mac so I can just select this but on a PC. Make sure that you hit the dial that allows you to select PDF. So I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna navigate to my uh, desktop to that folder that we created under site data. And I wanna go to the, the um, layout plan. That's the one I wanna use and set enter and just say attach. We're gonna scale it the interior. Drag a space, drag it in, just click and release. I'm gonna get rid of the reference manager for now. And now what I wanna do is align this so it fits here so that I can actually trace it um, using its dimensions. So I wanna type in align, A-L-I-G-N, enter, select the drawing, enter. And I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna use my design extents as a marker. So I'm gonna zoom in here and say that first point's kind of right there. It's allowing me to snap to it. So that's nice. And I'm gonna come into this marker here and say that's that point. And another clean edge is gonna be this here. And I'll just come in here, click that edge, zoom out. and go right there when you have that, that last point selected i'm going to hit enter and it says uh, scale objects based on alignment points you want to hit y enter for yes and it should bring your drawing in and align it to that base okay which is nice then i want to click on the drawing and right click and say draw order and say send to back so it's below everything good I also want to click on that drawing and then the edge. That's how you select that image by selecting selecting its edge, and you'll see the ants appear. Um, I want to fade it out a little bit just so it's not so prominent. Cool. I also want to go ahead and lock that for now. Okay. And now I want to put myself on my proposed edge, PR edge. Okay. Hit escape. I'm on my PR edge. All right, so now we can begin to draw. Um, I want to use some reference points here. And the first things that I want to use as references are the sidewalks because I know that this design is, is intended to align with the existing sidewalks. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit PL for polyline. And I'm just going to begin to draft over top of this um, existing content line. So just to there is fine. Um, I'm gonna go and do the same thing over here. And actually, let me show you a different command. Hit O for offset, enter, and then T for through. I'm gonna click the line that I wanna offset, and then it allows me just to drag it, and I'm gonna snap to this line over here, because that's the sidewalk piece. Okay, great. And I just wanna extend that through this design, because I know that it's gonna be a, an important piece in it. So I'm just gonna click those lines and allow it to extend. And I'm going to do the same thing with this other sidebar piece over here. And offset, same principle. Oops, missed it. There we go. Okay, delete that. And I'm going to do the same thing and just extend. And see what we're working with here. Now, it looks like from the design extents line here, um, I come down 2 feet, 6.1 inches, and that gives me that mulch line that begins there. So I'm just gonna take my polyline, PL enter, select that point where the, at the intersection um, of that sidewalk line we just created from the context sidewalk and the design extents. And I'm gonna follow this down this direction and I'm not gonna assume it's there, I'm actually gonna type that dimension in and I want you to do the same thing. Um, and I'm gonna say it's gonna be two feet dash 6.1 inches enter and you'll notice that it snaps to where it needs to be okay great 
Now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this to make it a little easier to see. I'm gonna click on that line and change its color to blue. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead, when I deselect from that, I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Even though I'm on this red layer, I want the color to actually be blue just so I can distinguish it from everything else when I begin to draft my actual edge lines. These reds will just be guides temporarily. All right, so the 2.6 is right there. Now I wanna offset this line because that is gonna give me that edge. So I'm gonna offset through, click this line and come up here. Great, so that's giving me a nice edge. And I'm gonna match, hit MA to match properties. Select my blue line and then touch the red line just to keep that consistency of I know my blue is gonna be my final edge. So that's drafted nice and neatly straight across the page. Let me see if I can't get another reference point. Um, it looks like here um, from this design extents line is a three point. So let's kind of try to hit this. Uh, so let me go offset through. And I'm just gonna go all the way and drag it and where this sidewalk intersects the design extents line. Okay, I'm gonna say offset three feet, 0 0.07 inches, and click there. Okay, that's gonna be that marker. And then again, offset seven feet. 6.9 inches, enter, oops, let's try that again, offset 7 feet, 6.9 inches, enter, there we go, okay, so we have that, and I know from this line as well, from this base, um, sidewalk line that from that offset at 3.07 feet I'll have an intersection to where I had that first edge line so I'm going to do a match properties and click that and that and I know those lines intersect and have on that radius so I'm going to actually trim these TR enter select both lines enter then just click the pieces that I want to kill and then I'm going to do a command called um, fill it F enter and you see the fillet, so I'm going to click that. Uh, whoops. Yes, and then the radius, I want to be three feet. Enter. I'm going to select this line and this line, and then it gives me that three foot radius that I need to make sure that it's accurate. Okay. So I'm going to keep on going. So I have this nice outline kind of flowing along here. Let me see if I can get some more information. Now, I believe this thing is built on a five foot um, module, so it's five foot typical, right? So it's five foot, five foot square, and then they're offset from one another at the midpoint. So always kind of look at your construction drawing to kind of get an understanding for what the intent was to understand it before you even be going, begin drawing it. So this is basically they're just staggered. Um, so pretty basic design. Um, so what I want to do, this line comes straight down, and I know from this edge that that's a five foot offset. So I'm gonna go offset five feet, and I'll just keep on going. That's another five foot offset. Another one, another one, another one, and another one. Okay. So I'm gonna match properties again and make those pieces that I know our actual edge is blue for now. Okay, that's an edge now, it's coming down. And I know I can kind of reverse that offset five feet. And that's gonna give me that edge, and that's gonna give me that edge. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, I'm gonna trim this now. Now to trim this, make sure that you hit TR, enter, and I'm gonna Kind of come in here and try to grab these lines. I'm grabbing white space, and kind of dragging out, selecting my line work, hitting enter. I'm just gonna trim some of the stuff that I don't need. Yeah, okay, just try to keep the lines um, cleaner so I can make it easier to see what we're doing. Um, so I had that drawn, the five feet's going across. 
Now I need to do a five foot going this way. It'll be really nice to have that module. And I can see that this is an offset, so I have a 1.45 feet. So I'm gonna go offset one feet dash 4.5 inches rather, and offset there. And then from that point, I see that five foot typical marker. So I'm gonna make that line a, a blue that I just have there, and then offset that five feet. Okay, and then from that, I don't need five feet there. Uh, okay, so that's five foot right there. I got that marker. So let me do also do some cleanup work here to clean some of these lines up that I'm beginning to see. No, I don't need all that. That looks like an edge to me, as is that, and that is an edge there as well. Don't have that one offset yet, but that is an edge. Just trying to clean these things up to the parts that make sense. Uh, that looks like it's clean right there. Uh, that would be gone, that's gone as well. That's gone, that's gone, that's gone. All right, anything else? Uh, that's not needed from there. Still gotta fix that piece. Okay, let's delete these extra lines as well. All right, so things are coming together. Um, now I wanna get this offset in here. Basically, this offset is two feet six inches it's half of the five feet so I'm gonna offset two feet six inches and it's gonna give me that and then from that I can just trim this piece out uh, uh, that and that gives me that edge and really okay and from that I see an edge in there. I know it's a five foot offset module, so I'm just gonna offset five feet. Okay, and then really just trim this out in here, so it's just cleaner so I can see. Okay, cool, so we're starting to make this edge that's starting to work. I know that this line looks like it extends straight across, so I'm just gonna hit EX for extend, enter. Select the line I wanna to extend to, enter, and just drive that straight across so that works. And then from that, I'll just Trim the portions out that don't need to be there. All right, so we now we're starting to actually get this edge to beginning to appear here, so that's nice. Um, same thing here. I see that module offset five feet because it's a five foot module. So I see that there. That's one. That's another. And that's another. Okay. And then we have that. And offset five feet. And actually from here, let me offset and keep that line solid since these are broken. I'm gonna offset two feet six inches. And it'll put me there. And then I'll start offsetting five feet. Five feet, five feet, and five feet. Okay. All right, so now I have my lines in there. I just need to start trimming some stuff out. Okay. So and let me just extend that here. And I will now trim that. Don't need that, that, that. Work on my edges first. And extend this out here. And again, trim. I'm trimming as I go so I can see these pieces. And again, extending this. And trimming all of this information here. Don't need that. That, I can get rid of that. 
and extending this one. And then it's telling me to from here to over there is two feet. So I'm just going to offset that two feet. All right, and trim. All right. And trim that. That. So now I have that edge, and I'll just go ahead and trim that as well. Don't need that. I'll make this blue temporarily. All right, so we have this beginning to appear. And then I'll just trim some of this stuff out in here. All right, so kind of have that. So now let's make, now that I have these kind of baselines, let me actually make all that blue right now, just so I can see a little easier. I'm gonna go through and start doing my edges just to get my outline and making those back to the property they need to be. I'm just trying to focus on the edges right now if they cross over. And actually we'll break these. So I'm gonna do B-R-E-A-K for breaking. And what I want to do is just make sure that these pieces here at the corners break to one another. Let's kind of extend. Extend. We're doing this because these middle pieces are going to end up being joints. So I want, them to, have it, I want to have them separate. So anywhere that they, the outline overreaches, so that's overreaching. We're just going to break it. Okay. Here, B R E A K. All right, let's look at the offset of five feet right there, too. And I can trim that to your. Get rid of some of these extra lines again. Just trying to clean stuff up as I go. All right, that edge is fine. That's going around. All right, another break. Do another break in here. A break. A break and I'm you know I'm just doing those edges and capturing all those edges <clears throat> this should go around um, okay I can do some more cleanup up here I almost got stops up here so that's gone that's gone that's gone which means that's gone that's gone. Okay, I believe that's going to do some of the trim up work in here. All right, so I have that edge, okay. Let it not freak out. So I'm gonna do another break right there. And this is really gonna go around here. And it's really gonna break right there. And I'll trim all those to that point right there. All right, so my edge is there. And there it goes around. 
Okay. And it's gonna come back up. Just all I'm doing is trimming these edges and trying to get that part clean. Oops. And now let me do that again. That will cut. That looks good. That will get cut. Which also means that that would be cut. That's gone. Okay. Well, yeah, everything around that design extents is gone. I don't think you need that. I don't think you need that. trim to those points here because that's already identified that site furnishing for us. I'm going to trim that as well. And kill that there. Okay. So we got a nice outline beginning to appear. And let me just begin to change so I can see. I'm going to do a break right there as well. So I'm going to select that, that, that. That, that, that. All right, let me make that actual. The layers should all be, if they are for some reason off. The layer is going to be proposed edge, and that color is going to be by layer, just so we can see that outline right there. Okay. MA. Then I'm just going to do an MA for a match property and kind of come around that edge right there. Oh, there we go. So now I got a break right there. Okay. an edge it's gonna be an edge that's an edge so that 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 all right that is its sidewalk edge there but that actually goes away there match properties and just go on here again we're just tracing this thing out really to dimension and that is a nice edge there okay like that. All right, so things are starting to come together for us. And some of these interior lines now, I'm just going to kind of grab these. And um, put them on for layers, put them on the proposed um, paving control joints. and make them by layer just so we can see it okay so it's starting to look like something all right let 
me try to trim some of this stuff up too now so we can start seeing stuff finally. Let's see if that goes away. That goes away. That goes away. And that goes away. And when I do this, I'm holding space bar just so I can kind of see. Let me start trimming some of this stuff out to help me see. That's helpful. That's good. Same thing here. Just extending EX. One lines to that. All right. All right. This one's like that. I'm going to trim these things all the way up. Like that, like that, it's like that. Okay, and then this one just going up. It's going to be the opposite, so I'm just trimming that. Oops. And just grabbing those, and it's actually going to be that. And that, and let me just extend this down. All right, and match properties, turn that white, and then that module is just going to look like this. Just trimming those pieces out, and that comes up there. That's like that, and kind of dies right there. And this one would be right here, right there, there, right there. And this one's kind of must be hidden like that. And again, grab everything because we can begin to see our module appear. That, and oops. So that's gone. That's gone. All right, and then this will just disappear. And cleaning that out as well. And it looks like that needs to be cleaned out too. Okay. All right, so almost got it. These last ones that get trimmed out. That will get trimmed out. And that's offset, so now we finish this whole last corner. Looks like that will be trimmed. And that would be trimmed. Yeah, I'll just delete these extra ones that I don't need. And it looks like there's another trim right there. So 
So now we can actually see what's going on here. And that's going to be an edge. That's going to be an edge. And that gets cut. And this comes down here. And I have my space bar. We can kind of get a sense of what's finally going on. I'm just going to bring this down to that point. Okay. Still a little messy over here. So, all right, we'll clean that up. So now what I want to do is just turn this thing off for a second, turn off my, um, go back to my zero, unlock it. And just kind of turn it off for a second so I can see what's going on. Let me extend these pieces, it's EXing. I want to keep. Okay. And doing my match properties and making sure things are what they're supposed to be. Clean this last little section up. So this thing's gone. That's a module. So this thing should looks like it should have been offset five feet. like that to me and this should all go trimmed and I got deleted okay so now we have the score joints and you kind of have the outlines of your edges and everything and this kind of how it should be now this thing is not working I want to use it as a reference still and also to these are So that point and that point are edges too. And then we'll break, actually break those and extend them back. But they need to be part of joint. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is save that, Control S, and I'm gonna go to my desktop um, to that file my AutoCAD and I'm going to call um, you know this base model alright so I have that nice and clean um, edges look good okay so now what I'm going to do is did my, get that site furnishing piece put in that was that um, the SF pieces so let me turn on um, turn back on that layer zero so I can find it Okay, so that comes back on, and now what I want to do is put these pieces, my steel bands in. So why don't we go to my proposed, um, site furnishing. Okay, and I know that there's a set dimension on this thing, so let me, it's 10 by 10 feet by 3 inches, so I'm going to hit the rectangle, RECT, and it comes up, and select the rectangle tool, select the point. I'm going to hit dimension and I'm going to say the 10 feet um, and then enter 3 inches, enter and then click. So that's going to be that band and I wasn't, yeah, I was going to make sure I'm actually, for my properties, I'm on the by layer and just default by layer too. Now what I want to do is align this thing again like we did the other one. Um, this time it shouldn't. Um, be that bad to do so we should just not have to scale it actually I'm gonna line enter and I'm just gonna select the corner and go to that corner other corner and put it there I don't want to scale that one and it should align perfectly great that's that point I'm just gonna copy well actually before I copy that though I want to turn this into a block so I'm gonna click that and hit B enter and um, I'm going to select I'm going to call this the steel band and I'm just going to grab a point on the corner for this one because we're going to have them set anyway and then say create block okay 
Now when I have that one, I know there's two whoops, on these. So I'm just going to copy, C-O-P-Y, enter, select the object, select the point of reference on it. In this case, I want to grab this end down here. Enter, grab that point, and just kind of come up here. Yeah, okay, cool. Now I want to trim that line too. It's kind of coming across. Cool, and that end. So now I have my nice edges. I have these two pieces of site furnishing there. I'm beginning to build this piece out. I have my um, control joints, the score pattern on this. Um, sidewalk and then also I'm gonna go ahead and just put in these granite benches as well and it's the same type deal this is a, a five feet by one foot six inches so an RACT I'm on the right layer already so that's cool and rectangle enter so I'm gonna click a point dimension and these are five feet enter by one foot six inches Okay, great. And this one, I'm just gonna draw some X's to actually get a center point for this, and so that's why I know it's different too. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select everything, and I'm gonna hit B for block, and I'm gonna call that um, my granite bench. Um, redefine. Actually, I did that wrong. Let me do that again. Let me explode. If that happens to you, just explode. I didn't set the the point correctly. Hit B again for block and granite bench. And then I need to select my point, so I'm just gonna go back here and do that. Enter, create a block, and just redefine. It's fun. All right. So now that I have that, I'm gonna do the kind of the same thing. I'm gonna align it, uh, select it and grab that point there and grab this point up here and just put that there don't want to scale that and it should align <clears throat> then I'm just going to copy it I'm going to grab its corner and I know there's three of those so one two three okay Good, so that's there, that's done. This guy has some extra line work up here too. Let's delete that. All right, and so those are pieces are done. So I have two pieces of site furnishing, um, site furnishings. I have my edges and I have my um, my score joints. And there, I know that there's also another pattern here too, so I need to put those other um, pavers in. I mean, those are actually gonna be edges, so. Let me go back to my PR edges. And they're modular, so once we have one, it should go pretty quickly. So this thing says it's offset is six inches, so I'm gonna go offset six inches, enter. And I'm actually gonna offset that control joint. And I'm just gonna keep on going all the way over. Those six inches. Okay. Then I'm just going to trim that out. Okay. And it looks like this other offset is um, one foot three inches. So I'll offset one foot three inches. There, there. And there, and I'll just trim this out so it looks like it's, that's the pattern, every other one. Okay. And other one. Okay. Oh yeah, that center line there, I think it's supposed to be there. Oops. Every other one. So there, there, oops. And there we go. Okay, so there goes a nice pattern. But those I actually want to be 
edges because these are going to be some sort of paver, stone paver, I believe. So I'm just going to select those and turn those into edges as well. Okay, and when I have that, I'm just going to actually copy those. Make sure you get them all. All right, I'll grab a corner, and once I have that, I can just bring this over. One looks good. Looks like stuff sliding up. Oh. It's actually copying. Before I do that, let me <clears throat> go back and lock that zero layer. So I'm gonna lock things, turn things. So that zero layer, I'm gonna lock that so it doesn't happen. And then copy. And now let me try that again. Okay, there. Oh, hold on. This got changed to the wrong. That happens to see this got changed to the wrong layer. I'm just gonna put it back on zero. Okay, there we go. One more time. So let me go copy these lines. Okay, and there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And one more, so I copy the module over. It's the same thing. And when I have it, I'll just go ahead and trim it. And actually, let me turn layer zero off. And really what I'm going to do is just to um, keep this a little cleaner. I'm going to offset that just so it lines up flushly. So I'm going to zoom in and grab the right line and delete that. And extend this here and then push this down here. Extend, click this line there, 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 okay, delete those extra lines, delete that, and this is not going to just all be edges right there. actually to that point. This is actually still edge. Okay. This means all that is actually going to be edge on that side. Edge on that side. Oops. Let me break these. 
and I'm doing this because you, we're not going to have a you know uh, a joint there. We're not, we're not putting anything there. We're not going to score that. That's just going to be flush with that edge. So then that needs to be red. Same thing there. All the edges that surround this. Easier for this one. Same thing for these. Same thing for this. Oops, take that back from the control Z is your friend. What happened to that line? Huh, put that back in. Oh, wrong one. That's an edge, that's an edge, that's an edge. Okay, that's an edge, that's an edge. That's an actual edge. And then here, for some reason, it disappeared. I should redraw that. And that's an actual score joint and that's an edge and I'm going to break that from that Stuff just trim. Okay, it looks clean. Almost done. Here, here, here. And I'll do that. Extend this. Extend that. Match properties on the same thing. It's very redundant. Okay, so now we have a nice clean module and all our edges are cleanly defined. And these um, white lines will um, basically be all of the um, joints. Oh, I'm missing one row here. Let me turn my zero back on so you can kind of see that pattern. And uh, so I can't copy one of these. No, it's cool. So I know these are six inches. It's the same thing. So I'm going to offset six inches in here in this direction and just kind of keep it going. To and I'm going to get a few and just copy those so it'll go faster. I'll copy those and grab it from that reference point there and just start dropping them in. Okay, and just offset six inches the last one. Okay, and then you got a, kind of this midpoint it looks like that kind of strikes here. Let's use this line as a reference offset um, through. And I want to strike just the midpoint of these guys if I can. There. Okay. And then it looks like it's every other one. Yeah, so I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to trim this. Um, so not there, not there, not there, uh, not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not 
right there. I'm just trimming these pieces out. All right, let me turn that zero off again. Just do an MA and we match these properties. So that line's a little long. Let me trim that. Just do a break right there then. And all oh, that should be that. That, 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 and again, bring that down like that. All right, so now everything looks clean, uh, except this last little edge here, which will be red as well. And yes, that's red as well. Okay, so I'm going to save that again. Okay. Now I also know that um, these joints are supposed to be a quarter inch. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle those offsets now because these are basically just reference lines for us. But we need to create that joint offset. So what I'm going to do is um, offset, in this case, a quarter of an inch. In a joint recess, and I'm going to extend it all the way down here. Okay. Just for the sake of this one. Okay, so now what we want to do, is, um, we have all our edges and everything and our site pieces of site furnishing um, properly arranged. We want to go ahead and, and actually express a half of, half an inch um, score joint through the sidewalk to create that pattern because it's just concrete. So to define the pieces from one another, we need to have some type of impression on that joint that we're going to create. So the, the, in the demonstration you might have saw in this video I might have said a quarter inch on your actual assignment it will be in half an inch so let's just keep that in mind so um, really easy to do I'm gonna offset I'm gonna go half an inch 0.5 and I'm gonna offset to the interior just kinda keep these lines clean anywhere it's here along the edge I'm just gonna go to the interior it's half an inch that's gonna be the interior interior I'm gonna go interior here Bring that back to the interior, interior, and I'm going to P, E, enter, M, enter for polyline, I'll modify multiple, enter, and then just do a J, enter for join, one, enter for the fuzz distance to make sure that's one line, and then offset that 0.5 as well on the interior. Okay, and that should be good. Okay, great. So I have those, those those lines done. I need to go back and now do my um, lines going perpendicular to them. So I'm going to actually, those are, end up being midpoints and I'm going to go offset 0.25 and I'm just going to grab that and grab that. Okay. Then I'm going to copy those. Click, click and just go in and drop these in. Sure, we have these. 
Make sure you're hitting that center point. Looks like I have this last one. Okay. So now that's done. And now what I do, I want to lay ISO. So layer isolate, enter. Hit S for settings and make sure that off is selected and then off again. And then I'm just going to select the um, score joints that we have and hit TR, enter for, for well, before I do that, I'm going to go through and just grab all those center points and just delete those. I don't need those now. So tedious, but necessary to get rid of those. But I promise this is the worst part, and it'll fly after this. Trim that. Trim that. Trim that. Or delete that, rather. I'll trim it in a second. So I don't need those right now. No, that's the last one. Okay, so now what I want to do is just trim these things out. <clears throat> TR. Let's grab everything. Oops. And now I'll kind of go in. I'm going to trim these pieces out. Make sure that they're all connecting and trim these pieces out. Okay. All right. Looks good. Here, and the idea is that when we drop this thing in, we'll be able to take this and press this into the concrete plane to create that joint so we can have those separate pieces and it cast shadow and we express the design intent we want in 3D. So extend those. Done. Same command over again, just doing the trim command. Trimming these things back.
trim. All right. Looks like we got them all. So once you get that, it's that's awesome. Looks like there's one more right here. So delete that. Okay. All right, so I'll just do a lay back on, lay on, L-A-Y-O-N. Turn everything back on that we have. We can see everything. Great. Let me turn off the um, piece again, so. Okay. Great. So now I'm gonna turn off my, my site furnishing too. I don't wanna see that for right now. And I'm gonna take care of these hatches. So I'm gonna put myself on my proposed, um, a land ground cover and I'm just now this is where these guys are going to come into play now so let me actually pull this over so we can see it and use it more easily okay so now what we want to tackle are the hatches um, and <clears throat> sometimes hatches can be a little tricky and oftentimes it's because lines are um, overshot or uh, areas aren't completely closed so we'll be prepared to tackle that now I have some hatches I have pulled over here um, from the a template and sometimes for some odd reason the hatches aren't reloading in AutoCAD so if you have an issue where you try to match properties and I'll show you that in a second um, you'll have to just download the hatches from Blackboard and install them and I'll show you that after um, we do one hatch so the idea of hatches are to create cover areas so we can understand or um, distinguish one area from another so I know all this is gonna be mulch and all that's gonna be mulch so I just hit H for hatch and I want to make sure that um, oops. I want to make sure that I'm on the PR land ground cover H layer hatch layer. So H for hatch. I'm gonna come in here, um, hit enter, and then I just want to go up to um, my hatches here, and it's my proposed conditions. And I'm gonna hit M A, enter for match properties. I'm gonna select that hatch. I'm going to come down and then touch this, and it should mi it should mimic what we have here. <clears throat> so this is my standard mulch hatch, and I would recommend that you create standard hatches for yourselves as well, just to make things easier. Um, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Now you notice that I have some um, overshot here, so something's going on. It shouldn't be doing that in that area. So I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to zoom in and see what's going on. And as you can see, I have some overshot going on here, and that pulls the hatch and makes it, it makes it do funny things. So I'm just going to kind of go around this and check all those areas. Okay. And maybe that did it. Let's try again. Okay, so now it's, it's actually performed what I wanted it to perform. Hit enter, and just to match properties again to be consistent, that is gonna be my mulch hatch. Now notice it's already been grayed back for you and scaled back so it'll print appropriately, so that's nice. Um, the other hatch is gonna be a grass hatch. So I'm just gonna click here, enter, and I'm gonna go to my grass hatch here, match properties, and <clears throat> there goes my grass hatch. So great, so now I'm just gonna save this file again so I have my grass hatch and those things look good. Um, also, I want to add a concrete hatch just to kind of help me distinguish that from the pavers. So um, I'm going to hit H for hatch. And to help me do this quickly, what I'm going to do, and uh, to show you, to express again why layers are important. So I want to go to my proposed and add those to my control joints. So those are frozen right now. And I want to go to my um, PR paving hatch layer. Drop this in and do an MA match properties. And I want to come up and use this concrete. Okay. And there the concrete is as well. Okay, now if that hadn't worked, if I'd had a, an error um, per se using this, um, then I can go hatch hit H for hatch and open up the library. And you want to go to Add Patterns. And you would select Add Patterns. And what you want to do is basically download 
from the Blackboard page, download the hatch pattern, the zip file, you would open it up, and inside that you will see all of the um, hatches that pertain to the, the template at least, and you'll just load those from the um, AutoCAD dialog box here. And you would just navigate to them and load them all, and that would be it. Okay. If you have any um, issues with that hatch piece, all right. But hopefully it should go right through for you. Let me close that out. Okay. Great. And now we just want to turn back on my uh, my control joints. Unfreeze those. So we have that. So now we have some nice sidewalks. Um, I have some grass and I have some mulch, and it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna save that again. Um, I want to next. I want to go ahead and I'll turn zero back on. Uh, I believe my I believe I have all my dimensions um, for that, so it's pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and tackle the um, the layout plan now that I have this. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to um, my layout plan. And you'll see that it's a, a template is waiting for you to add information to. So I'm just going to click in here. Oops. And call it the um, corner micro park. And say this is in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay, cool. Sheet one is fine. The number, all that's already been propagated for me. Project number, I'm going to call this number two. Um, the issue date, I'm going to say it's today. So 01 27 15. Okay, this is going to be a 3 8 scale, is what I want to use. So I have my viewport in here, and I'm just going to double click. So I'm going to go to, um, it was locked. So I was acting like that, I was acting crazy. So I'm going to go to um, layer 0 and unlock that. And display locked. No. Double click in here and then do a zoom extents. And I'll see my design pop in. I'm going to kind of scroll in a little bit just to kind of set it a little bit. And then I'm going to go over here to my scale. And I know I want to make it 3 8 scale. So the 3 8 will pop in. And I'll kind of position this on the page how I want it. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to hit PS for paper space to go back there. And I just want to go ahead and then lock that. Um, so then the display locked, and we'll go ahead and lock that back. So now the things that we want to add are basically um, all the information that we see in the PDF. We're just going to recreate that. We're going to dimension it, and we're going to just add these tags to it. Um, and that'll be it for the, for the layout, and then we'll move on to the planting. Um, so to do that, just put yourself on your Anno labels. Layer already exists, nice and neat for you. And um, type in M leader, enter. And we'll just copy this piece. So it looks like that is going to be a, and just start typing. Type the information in, two foot steel band. 10 foot by three, by three inches, and a OBJ SKP file be provided for this object. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull my text over a little bit. And I'll just like to go in there and just make that bold, that top one. And there goes your first tag, that easy. And it's already scaled for you, everything's dimensioned nicely. 
So keep on going. Hit another tag, come down here, and one, and I'll go green screen, 32 feet by six inches. Um, A O B J S K P file be provided for this object. I'm just going to shift this over a little bit and make that bold. And I'm going to copy this tag because I need it again. So I have that. Uh, okay, there's another one. And I just did enter return the last piece. So then just, um, actually, I'll just bold this now. And three. And this is granite bench. Five foot by one foot six inches. Turn, control V that. Uh, just kind of control that a little bit. There we go. There's that tag. All right. I think that's all of those. Pull another tag over here from the um, stone pavers. That's one foot, three inches by six inches, and two feet, six inches by six inches. All right. And go here. And then say infer stone paver. Dimensions they intersect with sidewalk. Here. Okay, just my width a little bit. Okay, I can come down like that even more, I think. And I'll just bold that like the other one is. Alright, so pretty pretty easy. Get the next tag there. Let's pull that out a little bit. We get the sidewalk up. Okay, that looks good. That tag's there. I'm gonna do one just for the lawn area. Okay. And keep going. I think that's all that we have. I have one more in here for concrete. It looks like. And it says concrete will. Uh, half inch joints we took care of that there will be no joint where concrete meets stone paver and mulch and lawn actually edges okay so let's kind of zoom out and <clears throat> play with that spacing a little bit all right that looks good to me zoom in and notice you can toggle on and off your line weights so I can oh, wrong one hit my line weights and we can actually see how the thing will print with line weight so that's nice too um, so that's there now I want to go through and just do my uh, my dimensions. So I should have an anno dimension, and I'm just going to turn on my anno labels off for now, and I'm going to focus on on my dimension. Um, so I'm just going to go dim aligned and start snapping to some of these things. All right, so I got my labels turned off, and I'm going to go ahead and use my I'm on my um, I'm on my anno labels, or sorry, well, I'm on my anno dimensions layer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off zero to turn off the image, and also turn off my um, my hatch. 
just to make it easier to dimension. Now I'm on my um, my anode dimensions layer, so I'm just gonna type in dim aligned. All right, and I'm gonna start dimensioning this thing. So from here to here. And you can see how easy this is. Kind of straight over maybe. Maybe we do a dimension here. Then from here to here. That'd be nice. And then maybe we continue it from here. All the way down to here. Kind of keep this thing going and then maybe going around here. To here. I'm trying to match these pieces up and there we go there to there Get a couple of those in there I'm just gonna go in here and type um, double click go inside of it and I just tight I just tapped over with the arrow key and just write space TYP for typical. Okay. And I'm gonna keep on going. Them aligned. Uh go here to here. Here to here, and then here, and it'll snap to where that arc is. We'll do that, and then from there, we'll do the same thing. Okay. Um, move from here to here, here to here here all the way down to here huh. that's the joint we'll just put that there and if you want to modify something I just want to make that five feet and we'll just express it it's a, a joint there we can select the whole thing and just say five feet to override the actual dimension um, let's go through and then just uh, keep it going, so on and so forth. Just give yourself some dimensions here so you kind of get a rhythm for it and understand. Okay, there you go. Maybe we do that as well. Maybe it's nice to have that, maybe. Bring it down some. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Uh, maybe we do that. Okay. And maybe we do that. Right, we have that dimension there. And what I want to do. All right, that looks good. Okay, that looks good. That'll be a module kind of coming over. That's typical. So hopefully that'll be expressed through that. Just kind of dimension it, and um, you can always turn that the zero layer back on and see how I did that. There's also a dimension. Let me show you that radius. So dim. Um, R dim radius 
and just allows me to select that radius and it gives me that radius being three feet that we had so do that and then I can toggle on and off my line weights to see what this thing is looking like I want to turn back on the um, PR ground cover hatch to give it a little bit more depth and that is the first drawing so I'm going to save that out so your layout's done so now I'm going to go back to uh, model space and I am going to turn stuff on typing lay on and I am going to select the um, sheet that I had before I'm just going to hit delete I don't need that one anymore and I'm going to go back to layer zero Um, there all right turn back off my line weight and I'm gonna insert the next um, image so layout I'm actually gonna click on that and say detach I don't need that in the drawing don't need that I'm gonna add another one and make sure it's PDF and this time I'm gonna go planting plan so okay, attach. And again, we'll just close this out for now. And we'll do the same thing we did before. And actually I'll also go off I'll turn off my context. I don't need my context on. Turn that back off. And also there's a um color hatch layer I'll turn that off as well it's just distracting okay and then I'm just gonna use the align tool again oh, A L I G N. select my drawing use my points so that point to that point And then I'll zoom into the next one, and it's gonna. Whoop. Oh, let me do that again. Align, click this, and let's do that one to that one, and that one to that one. Enter. I do want to scale that to that. Okay, brings it in. Hopefully, it lines it up. Great. Okay, so that's cool. That's what we want to see. Now I want to go in and put in these plants. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and um, to Blackboard. And I believe we downloaded, we already downloaded that. So actually, I'm going to go into my downloads and go to the uh, 2d trees that we downloaded just double click that and these are some blocks that some generic blocks that I've made um, that you can use uh, just to make this part easier and you can explode them and, re and create your own blocks from these references so I'm gonna grab this one two maybe three four five so I'm just gonna copy those and come back over here to my drawing. Okay. And I'm just going to control V for paste. Get away from that a little bit. Bring my trees in. Okay. Take off my snaps and just kind of move these around a little bit. Okay, look at what I have. So this is going to represent, I'm just picking a random tree. I'm going to use this one to represent. Um, These the, the large trees that are kind of surround the, the site and I believe these are uh, what are those? Oh 
Okay, Zalcoba, Serrata, okay. So I'm gonna make this a Zalcoba. So I'm gonna take this, it's already a block, it's already in the appropriate layer. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that I'm on PR land um, and tree. Okay. I'm just gonna scale that. Hit the center and um, scale it by 0.5. Do it again. Select, enter, hit the point. Just scale it by 0.5. Okay, so it's getting tinier. It's cool. And just scale it a little bit more. Now bring it back the other way. I'm clicking, kind of drag out. I will see what that is. Better way, just actually click here, click here to figure out that dimension. It's about 15 feet. So I could say scale this object, and we'll say from here, oops. We'll do an align. Because I grab one of these trees and I want to make it match that size. So I'm going to click on it, right click and say um, block editor. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to draw a line. Um, and it's going to be 15 feet because that's the size of that tree in the exterior. Okay, so that's a tad bit smaller. And then I'm just going to, uh, I'm actually going to move that center. And I'm going to align them. Align, A L I G N, E L I G N. Oh, I can't align in here. Huh. I'm gonna click on that and explode this, um, and which is gonna allow me to then um, get it to be the right size. So I want this to be 15 feet. This is a 15 foot line, and then I'm gonna type the align tool. Oops, A L I G N. Select everything, enter, and then I'm just gonna align these points. I'm gonna say that, and maybe that to that, 
And then I'm going to scale that, yeah. So that's going to make that 15 feet approximately, which is going to make it fit that shape. I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to select this, and I'm still on that PR land tree. I'm going to make this into a block. And I'm going to call this uh, my Zelkova. And the midpoint, I'm just going to zoom in. And click in here and create block. Okay, so this is going to be my Zelkova. So now I have that, I'm just going to copy this thing over and drop it into all those Alcova spots. Pretty straightforward. So I'm going to get that now. I'm going to turn off my O snaps to make this go a little bit smoother, hopefully. And kind of zoom in. And there. Two, three, four, looks like. Five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, so that's done. Pretty fast, pretty easy. That's the first set. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this other one. And now I'll take care of, and what is this called? This is gonna be my, my Ilex, okay. All right, so now let me grab another block. I'm just gonna use this one and do the same thing. Um, let me measure and see what this is. I'm just gonna hit DI, enter to measure, corner to corner. It looks like it's roughly nine feet, eight inches. So I'll just make it nine feet, eight inches. So now I'll, I'll explode this. I'm gonna draw a line, nine feet, eight, inches enter it's going to be the size then i'll type in the line select everything here in one of the furthest corners put back all my o snaps and that and let's say maybe this outline one is there i want to scale that yes there all right now i'll go ahead and delete that i'll grab this and be block and i'll call this by this is an Ilex etch, and make sure my point's in the middle. Bam, curve block. Okay, cool. So now we have that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that. I'm gonna copy, and make sure I grab that midpoint. I'm gonna turn off the O snap to make it go faster and place these things in here. So that'll be one there. That's two, three. And I believe that's all we have of those. Okay. Keep going, I'll just delete this one I just made. And I'll grab another shape here and say we'll use we'll use this one next. And I'm not sure what this is. We'll find out real quick. This is these are auto lucans, so let me just do a GI to figure out the size of those. And it looks like they're five feet four inches, so same thing. Um, we'll explode this and do a line and make it five feet. Whoops, five feet four inches. And then I'll just use my line. Select everything, enter. Turn back on my O stuff. You can hit F3. Um, there to there and then there to there, yeah. And I'll just get rid of that other one. Okay. And now I'll grab this B for block and I'll call this my autos. Looking, I might be murdering the name of the spelling. Not the point though. Okay, I'll we can create. Um, and then I'm just gonna copy
this over. And again, turn off my other snap to make it go a little bit easier, a little bit faster. I'm zooming in. And just want to get those over here too. here one two three four okay that's looking pretty good to me okay cool now I will um, tackle the next plant material and that is going to be these Alex Fomatoria okay Delete that guy. And let me do another DI for this next plant. And it looks like it's two feet eleven, looks like three feet. And we'll grab another symbol. And we'll grab this one and we'll explode it. Do a reference line at three feet. We'll say a line, grab it. I'm just gonna eyeball this from point to point. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Delete that, grab it. B for block, exclamatory, something like that. And here, create block. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm gonna just move that over. I won't be wasteful. I'll place this one. Okay, and I'll just copy and begin to place this. So we have that. Oh, and I just realized actually I'm putting this on the tree layer and this should be on the shrub. So let me just click on, I'm going to click on that and then right click and then say um, select similar. And it should grab all the blocks that I just made. And I'm just going to put them on the um, proposed land shrub because it's going to be a different line weight. And then I'll double click on that or click on it, right click rather. Um, block editor, control A, and just put all that line work on the um, the shrub layer. So that's just going to be NPR land shrub. Okay. Save close. Okay. All right, and. Those will be okay. REA. There we go. And I believe these are on the shrub layer as well. So I'll click on that and I'll say right click and select similar. And they're on the land tree, so we will change those and put them on the land shrub as well. And then I'll just right click, uh, I'll escape and just select one of them. And block editor, control A, and PR shrub. And then just save and close. Okay. Now I'm gonna put myself on the shrub so I don't have to worry about that again. And when I do this last plant material, these last few plant materials. Okay, so 
I actually have some more Alex Vomitura up top, so I'm gonna copy that and zoom in and grab the Alex. Okay, I have some more up here, it looks like. I have all those now, and I do have a couple of more, I have three more. Just saw that of these. Alex is over here. One, two, three. Okay. So now I have to do um, the penicetums, aqua priorities. Okay. So that's my penicetum. So I'm going to grab another one. Um. Gonna move it in just so I can see it. Now it has to be exploded, and I believe that these are foot. We'll just double check. Yeah, I'm roughly a foot. So let's draw a line, and I'll make that one foot. And same principle. It's still redundant. Enter, oops, hold on, do that again. Enter, source point's gonna be, let's say that. Again, I'm gonna kinda eyeball this. And let's say this point over here. And that's gonna be right about there. Scale it, yes, okay. Looks all right to me. I'm gonna grab that B for block, and um, um, penny seat um, alk, and grab that midpoint. Okay. So now I'm just gonna copy that. And put these in there. Too small. Let me measure that again. DI. What was that actually? It is. Oh, this is almost two foot one foot nine inches. Oops. So actually, let me draw that again. So this is going to be one foot um, nine inches. There we go. And let me just explode that again. And then align all that and just kind of hit that point to that point and like that point to that point. You want to scale that? Yes. Okay. Delete that. Same deal. And pin out and create. Okay. Now let me try that again. Grab that. Zoom in. Okay. So this will pop up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just kind of keep it going. Just kind of clicking and dropping. I'm trying to hit that center point of the other plant. Easy. I'll keep it going. Keep it going. one there. Keep it 
going. And the last one would be there. Looks like I have two there. Let me zoom in back here and delete one of those. Okay. That looks good to me. Oh, that's the missing one. Put that there. And that looks good. All right, um, I got this. What else do I have here? Oh, these are actually something different on this side. Oops, um, let me just turn the um, zero off for a second so I can see and then will move faster. And just delete those. A different plant. If you made that mistake, if you're not, then good for you. All right. Let me just lay freeze that too. Okay. So that looks good. Let me turn that zero back on. Okay, so there are definitely some plants there, but and that's a different type as well. Different type of plant though. So it looks like I've run out of black, so I need to get some a couple more. So I have I think that area here and then another plant species. I need two more. So I'm gonna go back to that other the blocks. And um, I just need two more. So I'm gonna grab this one. And um, this one and that one. And I'll copy those. Bring them in the same way we did before. And just control V. So now I have these two. Bring it in here. Go ahead and just explode them both now. And figure out what I need, the size needs to be. And I believe that's just going to be a yeah, one foot nine inch. So we'll just say one foot ten inches for that one. Okay. So one foot ten inches. And then my line tool. I'm just going to grab that. That. To that. And that. To that enter. Okay. And um, make that a block. I think this is Joe Pa. And click that, create. And copy. I'm just going to bring that over and put these in. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. Okay, there goes those. And then I need this last um, type here. I mean, just get rid of that. 
And we can almost turn that thing off too. Okay, so the last one. So I'm gonna grab this, pull it over, and do a measurement, see what size this needs to be. DI enter. And well, it's gonna be uh, two feet. We'll just make that two feet. So two feet. And I'll do my line. Select it and there to there. I'm gonna say there to there. Do you want to scale it? Yes. I'll zoom in, delete this, grab this, and um, block it. And I'm not sure what these are yet, actually. Oh, north wind. Okay. So, and actually, I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay, um, it's fine. Um, it's mixing a little bit, but we'll fix that. Block, and this is going to be my north wind. Grass, and the midpoint is there. Create block. Redefine. Okay, and now I can just start placing this and copying this this last one over. And there, okay. Okay, and I believe that's going to be it. Now I'm just going to double click on these last two that I put in. They were on the shrub layer when I created the um, the block, but um, let me click on that, right click, block editor. Let me select all that line work and make sure that it's also on plant shrub. And just to change it, save, close. So that's good. And then also this last one over here. Um, same situation, click on that. Block editor, control A, just select everything and then um, shrub, save, close. Okay. All right, let me turn that <coughs> zero layer off for a minute, the image. Cool, so we can see what we have. Um, and turn back on my mulch. Uh, be here cool looks good so I'm gonna save that looks good to me um, I noticed that one thing I am missing though is the uh, green screen on this side so not to worry we'll actually pull that in the last diagram we'll use that last diagram to kind of verify um, and fix that position all right, so we have this. That looks good. Save. Line weight should be printing out well. Um, let me go to the planting plan. And turn layer zero back on.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna double click in here and back in layout just to. So I'm gonna go to my planning plan. I'm gonna double click in here and uh, do a zoom extent. Uh, of course, it's locked. So I'm gonna go to paper space. I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna right click on it and uh, unlock the display. Double click, zoom extent. Drawing comes in. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna go to 3 8 scale again. All right, it's gonna move for me. And I'm gonna to try to match that north arrow up with that information so I can just keep my drawings consistent. So that looks good to me. And then PS for paper space. Okay, cool. Um, now everything should be showing as it should be. And if you turn off zero, and turn on line weights, you'll get what you need. And you'll notice that in this um, as well that the um, other elements have been grayed back. So your plant material will be the dominant element or the dominant pieces in your drawing. Okay. Notice that now it's looking a little thick, so that's an indicator it's on the wrong layer too. It's a good way to check these things and turn this off. And select you and your own landscape shrub here. But let me go block editor. Control A and your own tree. So I'll put you on shrub as well. Save. Close. Okay. Save that. And let me go back to my planting now and just turn that zero layer on so that we can create these um, labels or these tags for this. So I'm gonna go to my anno labels, double click, and I'm gonna go M leader. And I wanna follow what this one tells me it is. I'm gonna turn off my Oh, it's not the line which it's the actual print. So I'm just gonna click here and kind of come out and just type that 39 in. And see them A L O P C U R R D S. And that's gonna be the Hamlin. Uh, okay. All right. That's that. And let me do another one. Let me get this guy going. And it looks like the same one. Hamlin. Okay. And it looks like the exact same tag, so I'm just going to copy that tag and put it there and bring it up. Double click 11, and yep, that's it. Okay, so pretty easy so far. Uh, Mem leader. Let's say mulch area. Okay. And, and this is two T T A U A T A. And I'll keep it going. And this is twenty-nine. And these are north wind. And again, you get this. This is going to be 15. Oops. OK. 
Okay, keep it moving. I'm getting that. Let me do six. Covas here. So Covas. Let me get that. That's twenty-three. And it's Hamlin. These auto lucans. U R K N. Laurel. Keep going. Going so that's seven. the same thing so I'll just copy that it's nice okay Let's see if I have another auto looking around here somewhere already <coughs> I do <coughs> let's copy the one that I made I'll come over here bring that there and just zip that around and that's going to be that. And that will say seven. And I'll copy that. Oh, I'll just do another M leader. And this one would be lawn area. Oops. Spell it right, Monario. I believe you have Alex already. <clears throat> Bring that over here. And I believe we are about done with that. Let me just turn that zero layer off for a moment to kind of see what we're working with. And straighten some of these things up. That's going to be that. That's that. That's that. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That's the Zelkova. The auto lucans, we just bring that in a little bit there, just clean it up some. That looks good. Okay, this one gets cleaned up a little bit. Now, what I can do is also just turn on my line weights to kind of see this a little bit better and see it with depth. Okay. Let me pull this one in some. Okay. 
cool and multi-array that. Okay. So now I just want to do with my with my labels also. I just wanted to make these connecting lines kind of going through the plant material. Um, this should that they're all connected. So I'm just going to go kind of point to point. Point to point. So that's the first set. Now I'm going to go to these. Yada, yada. That. Let me do this. going point I believe that's all the lines you need for your planting. I think that's pretty much it for that. Control save. Okay. And then we'll go to the plan diagram. Same thing. We'll go and turn zero back on so we can see it. I'm going to um, unlock it to a zoom extent. I kind of zoom in just a little bit. And I'm going to go to um, 3 8 scale. And then use that, kind of set my arrow up, get them roughly in the same position. PS, enter, paper space. Um, turn that off for a moment. Okay, cool. So everything's on there that needs to be on there, but we're missing the um, piece of site furnishing that we need the last piece here. So I'm gonna go add that now. I'm gonna go back to model space and turn up that. Put myself on layer, layer zero. Let's turn that back on actually. So my planning stuff I believe is done. So I'm just gonna delete that. 
Um, let me put myself on layer zero, and I am. Just detach that. And this is be the last one. I'll just grab that um, plan diagram. Attach. Kind of stretch this out. Same thing, all on. And F3, yeah. that, 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 that. Yes, okay. Great. And actually, let me not put that one in, let me. So for this last one, let me do, instead of doing that, let me go back to IM. I actually need that layout, let me detach this. Yes. And make sure it's PDF. I'm gonna go back to my layout, because I need to, there's a dimension to that, and I need to know what that is. Okay, so we'll close this out. Same thing again, though. Align. And. That top with that. Zoom in. That with that. Yes. Okay. Now it's telling me that this thing is. Um, I'm going to go to my proposed site furnishing. Whatever that is, site furnishing. And this green screen is 32 feet by, I'm gonna do a rectangle, is 32 feet by six inches. So dimension 32 feet by six inches, there it is. And I'm just gonna align this one. With, well, first I'm gonna make it into a block. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna find the midpoint and just come down. And I'm gonna say block. I'm gonna call it green screen combo. And um, let me select my objects. And then my point's gonna be the center and create. Now I just wanna align this. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go there. And here, I'm gonna go there. Um, no, it should just align perfectly. And there we go. So now we have that last piece done. And I'll just delete those boards now. And now when we go through this piece, we should be able to see everything that we need. In our layout, that should be there, and the note should be there. Great. Turn my line weight on. All the information should be there that we need. Okay, and we bring this down so now we can adjust some of this stuff. And maybe this one. So like that. And then also this dimension here. Perhaps wants to come up so we can actually see it. And then maybe this one even moves to something like that. Okay. So you can kind of make adjustments to your tags after you have this to the fact, but it's, I think it's pretty good to make this touch. All right. Now, another thing that you can do, the last thing I guess you should do is to do a fill. Let me go back here to model space. And we made everything, I've been using that everything but 253 to print. And we do that because just for this specific thing, um, I'm going to do a hatch. And this I'm going to do a solid. And I'm going to select color. And um, 253. And just kind of grab that. And... Okay, and save, and then close. 
So those will have some gray on them. Oops. Let me black edit it out. You click those again and make sure that they're on. Um, the layer they need to be on, which is the PR site furnishing. Okay, there we go. And save, close, save. Okay, yeah, that's better. And I'm just gonna draw order that and send that to the back actually. Okay, and come over here with the same thing with this. I'm just gonna put myself on my site furnishing and just do a hatch at 253. Okay. Save, close. And again, draw order, send it back. Oops. Oops. Let's cancel that out and go back in here. And for some reason, this is still on the wrong layer, so we'll put it on, um, PR site furnishing, okay. Save close. Okay, so there we go. And now, and select some similar, I'm just gonna change the draw order, bring to front. Okay, so now when I have these things, I'm gonna go here and go to my layout, and all that should be there for you. We can see it clearly. So layout should be done, planting plan, will be done and plan diagram will be done and we can look at all these with line weights on as well all right so when you have all these done um, again too you need to change the project name here for these um, and this is the corner micro park and it was North Carolina. And I'm just gonna copy that actually and then bring that back to the other ones that I might have missed. And just paste that in. Um, this is project number two. And again, the date's gonna be the same. It's gonna be. 0127-15 and I'll just copy that slow 3 8 inch scale so that'll be consistent we'll go back here come in here and I'll update that delete that save and project number 2 Great, and the layout page should have been done for us. Okay, so now we're we're good to go. Save these things out, and now all you need to do is um, print this. And we want to make sure that when we print these things, that um, let's go back to our page setup. You can just click on it and right click and um, edit page setup. Make sure that you're all black, but 253 gray is selected. If you don't see that, you can. Um, Click your pin settings, uh, or cancel rather. Click this and do new. So before you print, you want to go to my, I'm just going to go back to model space to do this so I can see it. I'm going to go to my, um, um, Hmm. 
So what I want to do on my Mac, at least I can do this, and I believe it's the same thing on PC. Um, you can make it easily just by doing new and going through the prompts and you know selecting all your colors, holding shift and making them all black, and then going to 253 and use object color. So that's how you would do it. But if you wanted to import what we have, um, cancel, reveal in Finder, it'll show you the plot styles where they are. And then you'll just navigate to that downloads that you had on the other side. That's around here somewhere. Well, I'm sorry here, <laughs> right in front of me. And then I'll just go to that um, CTV, the all black that we downloaded and you'll have that ability to plot um, all black, but it's easy to make too. So once you have all these things done, you're just gonna print each sheet. So I'm gonna go to my layout and I'm gonna control P. And you, you should set up your DWG to PDF um, to print this and then save as PDF. And I'm going to go into my desktop into that project folder that we created. Um, and I'm going to say finish pieces. And I am going to call this, um, I'm going to create a new folder here because there's not really one there for that. And I'm going to call it just construction documents. And um, this first one's going to be called layout. It'll print for me. I'll go to planting. Same thing, control P. Um, save as PDF. It'll go to the last place. I'll call it planting. Last one we plan diagram. Same thing. Control P. Um, this is just the diagram, it's everything. 